All right, in this video, we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing functions. And again, the notation that you'll see is going to look something like this. They'll write fg and then in parentheses an x. And what this notation means to do, it means to take your function f of x and multiply it by your function g of x. Likewise, if they have f divided by g of x, all they mean to do is to take your original f of x function and divide that by your g of x function. So for example, suppose I have these two functions. x squared minus 1 is f of x, and x plus 1 is g of x. So I'm putting them both in parentheses. You don't need it, um, just for no particular reason. So if they wanted us to find f times g of x, all that again means is I take my original function, f of x, which is x squared minus 1, and then I simply multiply that by g of x, which is x plus 1. And again, in this case, I'm going to have to FOIL it out. So x squared times x will be x cubed. I'll take x squared times positive 1 and get a positive x squared. Negative 1 times x is going to be minus x. And then negative 1 times positive 1 will be minus 1. And again, that is, well, there's really nothing else to simplify. That's my function f times g of x. Likewise, if they wanted me to find f divided by g of x, well, same thing. So suppose I'm going to find f over g of x. Well, again, f of x is x squared minus 1. So that's the one that's going to go on top. And g of x is the one that's going to go on the bottom. And g of x, again, is x plus 1. So I'll put that one down there. And now, you know, this is f of x divided by g of x. Um, of course, you could cancel this out. You could factor the top as x plus 1 over x minus 1. And then in the denominator, you'll get x plus 1, which is already there. You can just cancel, cancel and you're left simply with the function x minus 1 and that would be your solution in this case. So again I'm not trying to really practice too much on these problems about factoring and canceling um, polynomials that'll be on a separate video just a basic explanation of the notation um, in these problems that's all I'm going for here. So also you know if they said for example find f divided by g of 4. Again, all that means is you can take f of 4 divided by g of 4. And again, if you plug 4 back into the original function, I'll get 4 squared minus 1. And then on the bottom, I'm going to get g of 4 so if I plug 4 into here, I'll get 4 plus 1. So on top, I've got 16 minus 1, which is 15, 4 plus 1, which is 5. And if I simplify that down, I'll get 3. And notice that's the same thing I would have gotten in my original formula. You could just find f divided by g of x kind of more generically. And then at the end, it says, well, if you want to find f divided by g of 4, this is the formula for f divided by g of 4. You could have simply plugged in 4 here and got 4 minus 1. Or again, you would have gotten 3 out as your answer. So two equivalent ways of doing these problems. So I hope this notation makes a little more sense to you. Again, it's just kind of knowing what they want you to do. Um, in terms of kind of canceling this stuff out, I'm going to do some other examples on those on a different video. Um, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. You can look for those. And I'm going to do some much more complicated examples of the canceling if that's what you're kind of looking for. Otherwise, I hope this notation makes sense to you. If you need to see um, addition or subtraction of these functions, or likewise, if you want to see some videos on compositions of functions, feel free to visit my website, justmathtutoring.com. Click on the free video lessons tab on the left. Scroll down to the bottom, that's where the algebra topics are, and you should be able to find those videos without too much trouble, where you can, um, like I said, I'm going to work out a variety of examples on those. So, hope this stuff makes sense for you.